Okay, now I'm trying to show that the cosine of w star and w t plus one is large, and I've managed to show that I've managed to show that this inner product is large, but so I need to show that the norm of um, w t plus one is not too big. Okay, so that's the second step. Okay, so at each time, um, w t plus one. I want this not to grow too fast, right? So I can keep my cosine looking nice and big. Okay. All right. So then uh, here, w t plus the norm of w t plus one. I'm just going to write in the definition of wt plus 1, um, just this is straight from the perceptron algorithm here. So this is the, this is the perceptron algorithm. At each t, wt plus 1 is this. Okay, so then this thing equals wt, norm of wt squared, plus, and this is 2yi, wt dot xi. Okay, plus, um, yi squared, oops, sorry, norm of xi squared. Okay, now, what do I know about this? Well, that thing, by definition, is negative because there's always a point misclassified at each time. That's how we get to the next time step. So this is the margin at time t, but for that point i, it is negative. Okay, so this thing is less than zero. That obviously is one. And then this, by our definitions, by our normalization, um, this thing is less than or equal to one. Okay, so what that means is that this guy over here, wt plus one, is actually um, less than or equal to wt squared plus 1. Okay, so the norm cannot increase more than 1 at each iteration. Okay, so what that means is that at the end, find big T plus 1, um, then, you know, since the norm of W started off at the very beginning being 0, and it couldn't increase more than 1 at every iteration, then the maximum it can be is actually t. Okay, so remember, sorry, that takes into account the fact that w times 0 is actually equal to 0. Okay, and it grew no more than 1 at every iteration, so at times t equals 1 equals t. Okay, so what that means is that this norm is at most root t. Okay, so that's the second step.